Welcome to the next instalment of On Device Research Academy videos. Today I'm joined by Peter Wallace, General Manager EMEA of GumGum. So can you tell us more about how GumGum use brand impact studies? For us, we need to showcase value and it needs to be beyond the cookie as well, because of course we all know that at some point that is going to be a thing of the past too. So for us at GumGum, it is about understanding, you know, what is that uplift for that user? What does it, what does an exposure mean? How does it shift the mindset for a consumer towards a brand towards a brand's message? How does it how does how does our advertising change awareness and understanding of the message? So we love using brand impact studies. We think think it makes a lot of sense. We work in the brand space, um, and it, that is really at our core. So for us to be able to work with the likes of on-device research makes an awful lot of difference to our business and helps us really validate and drive understanding of what we deliver for our clients. So why do you use them and what benefits do they drive for you or moreover your clients? In terms of how we use them, for Gungam, we would apply a study to every single campaign if we were able to do so. We think they are that important to showcasing the success of a campaign. Now, why we think they're intrinsic to the success of the business is that, again, to this point of being able to understand the value that what we do as a business drives for our clients, we think that these types of research measures showcase that success and they drive real core value to advertisers, to brands, to agencies by those data points that you're able to deliver by working with on-device research. What level of insights do you achieve through using brand impact studies? So level of insights that we achieve range from more broad macro understandings of things like how do different age and gender demographics react to advertising? What shift do we see in terms of brand perception and message recall? And then we can really start to dig deeper into the understanding of the nuances and the specifics of a certain campaign by looking to tailor certain questions to those users that have been exposed to the advertising. So we can go quite broad and then we can go to quite a granular level and all of those different data points are as important as one another to understanding the value of the campaigns that we deliver. What have you done with the results and how are these helping shape your overall advertising and marketing strategy? In terms of what we do with the results, we're always extremely transparent with our clients. We will take the full piece of research and we will take that to our clients and often, more often than not, we'll present it in partnership with on-device research so that they get a true unbiased view on the performance of a campaign. Now, what we're looking to do is I obviously identify the successes of what we've delivered but also identify maybe the not so successful elements of what we've delivered. And we think that understanding both of those core components are equally as important. You know, we, we want to start doing more of what is successful, but we also want to refine and alter the campaigns based on what isn't so successful. So for us, it's a continual learning curve to continually improve, 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 and use that data as a core to be able to achieve that. So how do brand impact studies help provide accountability for companies such as GumGum? GumGum is very much focused as, as top of funnel. So we are therefore trying to drive brand impact. We're trying to drive standout, drive, try, trying to drive higher levels of attention for the brands that we work with across digital spaces. Now, if you think about top of funnel activity, it is not going to drive an immediate click and I don't think it should drive an immediate click. So the level of accountability that therefore working with brand impact studies delivers is actually how is that shifting the dial at the top of funnel sort of understanding. You know, how are we shifting consumer mindset? How are we driving purchase intent over the longer term? So that for me is, is what accountability should look like when you're thinking about top of funnel activity. And finally, do you see measurement becoming more or less important as we head into 2023? Brand measurement is only going to become more important for the digital space. If you look at the way that investment is occurring across digital, there is a huge increase and huge increased appetite to spend more around brand within the digital space. And it is the right environment to be spending in and around brand. We are moving away from this sort of bottom of the funnel, chasing the last impression, last click wins type approach to digital, which I think is extremely positive. But 
with this shift away from that that way of thinking, there needs to be more accountability and understanding of what brand delivers within the digital space. So with more investment, with more interest in digital and brand, there's going to be more and more investment in brand impact studies. Thank you, Peter. So if you'd like any further details on brand impact studies or how they can help drive accountability for your brand, then please don't hesitate to contact us at ondeviceresearch.com.